Marcus. Abrams Drain is one of the deep men. Both sides started out with a win last week and a towing center here this afternoon to set up the rest of their month of September for a couple of fan bases that are probably thinking this one is winnable for our side today. 6-0 lineman here on third and short. Pete caught in the backfield and he will not even get back to the line of scrimmage. It was Austin Moore around the ankles. And he's got it. Points on the board. The first possession for Mizzou and a 3-0 lead. Over 1,400 yards rushing, nearly 500 receiving, and 22 touchdowns a year ago. And the pass completed to their other big weapon, Malik Knowles, on the outside. And it Four-man pressure coming. Martinez stepping up, swings it across the middle, caught in Missouri territory. Malik Knowles finds a seam for 18 yards. Does he take a shot at the end zone? Martinez bothered, runs away from it, and scampers for the first down. <laughs> There's the 10th play of their drive that started back on the 25. Both sides with a strong possession to start. Inside the 10, Brooks down inside the 5, and he rolls down to the 1-yard line. Joseph Charleston stopped the touchdown, but it's first and goal and a gain of 28. And as they go, hurry up. Just a nice play. They get everybody going one way, and you think that the quarterback, Martinez, is going to run, stop, pops, and finds the open wide receiver as the Wildcats quickly on the ball. They have the Tigers on their heels right here. Vaughn met and then bounces in for the touchdown. opener for K-State and they'll take the lead. Here and what he was able to do and Jordan Addison the Blitnikoff winner of a year ago. Yeah, transferred in from Pittsburgh. All three of those guys transferring in. Good penetration by that defense. Mookie Cooper the Ohio State transfer had nowhere to go. Josh Hayes keeps making plays. Luther Burden to the bottom of your screen still without a touch today. Cook looks away from him and it's another negative yardage play for the K-State defense. Eli Huggins wraps up Elijah Young. They were sixth best in the country at this a year ago. Martinez all the way calls his own number first down. They gave up three explosive plays for touchdowns a week ago. That was one of the big jobs other than trying to stop the run as Vaughn picks up another first down. More Vaughn, the comeback, found a crease down to the 20. And they are forcing the defensive backs to make the tackles on Vaughn right now. Trips to the left. Warner is the motion man and the receiver looks to throw it, now will keep it and try and run for it and he'll get it. They wanted the throw back to Vaughn. Fresh set of downs. Martinez keeps all the way. Vaughn running in front with the block to spring him. And a 16-yard touchdown for Adrian Martinez. Beattie and Gill blew open a big hole off that left side. Third and six. Burden to the bottom of your screen. Cook looking the other way. Now Luther crossing underneath, but Cook busy scrambling, and he will not get the yardage. Eli Huggins kept him short. It's fourth down. As uh, the Cougars get set to join the Big 12 in a year or so. More good penetration. The defense right now is getting into the backfield.
field repeatedly for K-State. <laughs> Eke Boido. <laughs> wow. You got guys just flying up on the outside, safeties, corners, everybody's buying in for this Kansas State. I'm just watching watch. I think what Julius Brinson was over there. That's what it was. 23 flying up. I mean, <laughs> suffocating defense so far by the Wildcats. Only two yards per carry in this first half, or per touch, I should say, for Missouri. And another negative play. Josh Hayes again. A loss of three, and it's third down. Okay. Now it's Missouri football on a third down and 13. Their offense has struggled to get anything going against this K-State defense, and they will have to bring the punting unit on. Felix on your DK play through, so they are. We are expecting that they will take a full halftime at the uh, conclusion of this second quarter, even though uh, they've been undercover for a good hour or so. Brooks breaks a tackle, looking for the sideline, and he's got it. Philip Brooks. Looking for his third career punt return. Touchdown, and he's got it. What a way to restart it for the Wildcats. 75-yard touchdown return. There's two things that a returner has to always do. Number one, make the first guy miss. Check. And then find the wall. Check. That's what Phillip Brooks does. Makes the first guy miss. He finds the wall. Return left. And then it just turns into a track meet. Should be great. Yeah, that K-State student section was my entertainment during a delay. <laughs> Out of first and ten. And yet again, the K-State defense, I think that's the fifth Negative yardage play for that defense here in the first half. Yeah, Robert Hintz the second. Nice. Cook flushed and down he goes. Robert Hintz with the sack. And uh, Felix, I think, is the guy that cleaned it up. The Missouri offense that rushed for over 300 yards last week against Louisiana Tech. Now they'll go to the air. On the deflection, Toski Dove. Cook out of the empty set, incomplete. Looked like Dove had hands on it. Had to be a lot better, keep the chains moving, and get this offense active. Well, you saw there, too, they're only 1 and 11 trailing at halftime under Eli Drinkwitz, and they were trying to get it to Burton deep, and it's overthrown by Cook. Missed opportunity. Luther had a step. You can see the frustration there. Play action on first and ten. They're looking deep again. And dropped over the top. And this one is caught by Lovett. Inside the 25. That's the best ball of the day right there by Brady Cook. The out on the outside shoulder. Tremendous job by Brady Cook. Stands in there and it starts with the protection. Great protection, but an outstanding job adjusting by Lovett. 39 yards on the gain, and then they'll lose a couple. Austin Moore in the backfield again. He's been there all day. Good. Trying to get some points. And it is good, so they get in... Uh, Zentner, good blast, and again, Abrams Drain will let it go over his head, and again, inside the five, the Wildcats will track it down, and again, it's Bo Do or Boy Doe. <laughs> Cody Schrader is back in at tailback, looking to throw downfield, and it's intercepted, underthrown, and Kobe Savage has the pick. Throwing downfield here in the third quarter, Kirk, and this one came up short. Well, earlier he over. They've already had an extra point block today. Chris had a miss last week. 
and this one is good. Three points off of the interception for K-State. He started 29 games at Southern Miss. He'll hand it off to Pete. And Daniel Green meets him in the backfield. I believe that's <laughs> the 11th negative play for this K-State defense. Cook with the time, and it's picked off. Daniel Green went up to try and deflect it, and instead just grabbed it out of the air. Second INT of the afternoon. This one's a tough one on the quarterback, because Brady Cook never saw Daniel Green. Number 22, Daniel Green. I know he's 6'3", 242, but watch number 22 in the middle. He's the middle linebacker. See, he's kind of hunched down a little bit, creeping up. Back-to-back -back interceptions from Brady Cook and uh, K-State. Good from 35. They'll try another one here from 31. And that is no good. The long and winding road that brought Jack here today. Another interception. Nick Allen and a fortuitous hop out of the hands of Nathaniel Pete. It's their third pick of the quarter. And I'm just asking, can Luther Burton touch the football? Wildcat, end around, something. Give this defense another look, because Kansas State right now, they're just watching the quarterback. They're keeping their eyes on the quarterback. Tips and overthrows. This is what Missouri did last week. Tips and interceptions this time. And that one is good. Texas A&M underway right now on the ESPN app. All right, they'll move over behind us a little bit later. And as that is a, another interception, the fourth in a row it is. Sincere Mason. And now both quarterbacks have thrown a pair of picks. Weather has kind of put a damper on both the offenses through the first three quarters. Big opening for Vaughn. The comeback at midfield. He's got a blocker in front of him. Vaughn running through defenders and his own guys down inside the 30-yard line and a gain of 29. We're going to try and work a lot of that play clock, too, on every snap. Vaughn. Second score. I just want you to watch the center. 55, Hayden Gillum. When you get an offensive lineman, especially the center, he gets up to the second level. It's it's easy for Deuce Vaughn. It's easy. Just finds the crease, races for the end zone. Again, that offensive line, the blocking. Just giving enough of a crease for Deuce Vaughn for a touchdown. Extra point is good. Vaughn now 19 carries, 121 yards. And two touchdowns, Kirk. We said the Deuce was going to get loose. Well, you mentioned it again. Deuce is wild. 2-2 two -two for six. In the wrong direction again for the Tigers as the Wildcats. They've been in the backfield all afternoon, a loss of 14. 33-6, Kansas State trying to convert on fourth down to pretty much end this one. Got a fourth down and four, Martinez. And it's caught for a first down to Seth Porter. Game. The offensive line really set the tone. They do not give up a touchdown on defense, and they're going to score again. DJ Giddens touchdown, K State. Twenty-eight yards for the redshirt freshman out of Junction City. One untimed down.
They'll run it with Schrader. Second effort gets him in. Touchdown. The result of the play is a touchdown. That's the end of the ball game. Our final score, Kansas State 40, Missouri 12. For Kirk Morris and Stormy Bonatoni, I'm Beth Mullins. Thanks for watching.